if you like your wig to feel more white than gray, you know, than that steely gray, this is the color combination that you want. You would have to get really close to, right on top of somebody's forehead um, to say, wait a minute, do you have a wig on? And <laughs> nobody's going to do that. And if they do, they're rude, in my opinion. So the big question is how does it feel? Trying to tell someone like trying to tell someone what hair look hair feels like is kind of like someone trying to explain what something smells like on television when they're cooking. It's very difficult to tell you how it feels. Um but I can use words like silky. Does it feel like natural hair? Yes, it does. It does feel like natural hair. And I love this part right up here. Now, I have a bit of a widow's peak. So for me, that presents a little challenge in wig wearing because my widow's peak is always going to stick out a little bit right there. And you know what? It's It's got black hair in it. My widow's peak is like one of the only areas of my hair that has black hair in it. So, um, yes, it feels, feels silky. It feels real. In my opinion, it looks real. Now, you see this part. You want to get in there and break up that part. Now, I never knew that before. I used to just, when I reviewed this the first time, I just plopped it on my head. I think I even went out with it without doing this, right? Because this is going to make it look more, it's just going to make it look more natural. And I learned that from Taz over at Taz's wig closet. I love her. I have a few reviewers that I that I truly, really love. I, I just think they are they add so much value to the wig community. Taz from Taz's Wig Closet. Jill from Oh Jill, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of your channel. But Jill and um who is the girl? Let's talk with Kim. Oh my goodness. She's just so beautiful. And, and uh, she does some amazing, amazing reviews on her channel. She has these little productions like she's a movie star. <laughs> she could be a movie star. What do you think? Not bad, right? And this really is how I... Before my hair started to thin, it looked very much like this. And I wore it like this which is why I love L. It took me many wigs to get to L, let me tell you. See, she's kind of a long bob. But that 56F51, ladies, if you like if you like your wig to feel more white, then gray, you know, then that steely gray, this is the color combination that you want. You want the, you want the white and you want the, um, and you want the light gray. If it's got brown in it, you're probably not going to be happy with it because it's going to drab you down. On a true silver, on a woman who, who, who uh, has, in my opinion, who has naturally white hair, uh, not a yellow white, but a white white. You don't want brown in that wig. So it is incumbent upon you to find out if it has brown. And I'm really trying to learn as much as I can and pass that information on to you. So let me let you see the left side. And then let me pick her up underneath.
Now, you may need some wig spray if this bothers you. But I've worn my hair like this for so many years, I'm just kind of used to the hair being down like this. But you certainly could use some Jean Reno um, wig spray. Um, you could even use, one of my hairdressers told me, you could give it a light spray with Tresemme. Um, not, you know, don't put so much on of any product, but just hit, hit it lightly and that'll help keep that in place, right? Um, you can always use a hair band. These, this is one of those square band things and you can always just pick it up and if it's just bothering you like crazy, you can always just Put a headband on. Most of us know about these square bands by now, but just in case you don't, I'll show you when I when I take it off. And if you wanted to, of course, you could tuck this hair behind your ear. If you've got some of your own hair, some of your own bio hair, There isn't any reason why you couldn't pull your hair out and then use that and sweep that back. Incorporate it right in with this hair here and sweep that back. So that's it for that. Now I'm going to take this headband off so I can show you about the square band. If you haven't seen them, they fold like a pair of eyeglasses. And they're wonderful. They're wonderful. They're, they are a little pricey, but I think they're really special and they have that little glitter there. So here you see the inside of the cap. Let me turn her outside, inside out. She has lots of wefting, so she's going to be very cool on your head. You see that, all that wefting? Funny word, wefting. I remember the first time I heard it. There's your monofilament top, which is a very generous monofilament, you know, going like from here to here. So you could have some parting options there if you don't like where, where she's parted. She is synthetic. She has the lace front, as you can see. Where's my lens? Lace front. There's the lace front. And she has the covered ear tabs right there. And the metal is inside the ear tabs so that you can press it against your the side of your head so it stays nice and flat. She has the Velcro adjusters, which I like better than the bra strap type adjusters. I like these. So you can adjust. She had, they have them on both sides. And let me look at the nape. She does not have what they call an extended nape. It just, it just sits right under the natural nape of your neck. And I think that just about does it for the inside of the cap. She weighs 4.3 ounces. Which sounds like a lot, but she's really very, she's comfortable for me. Here's something that I want to put out there. I am going to be doing a live video this year, very soon, probably within the next two or three weeks. And I have never done one before. So uh, I am speaking to you, my subscribers, both new and old. And I just wanted to put it out there to you. Would you like to see a live um a live video, you know, those live streams that everybody does. And if yes, I'd like you to send me your questions. And I will do my very best to answer your questions. I already have a bunch of questions from you from things that, that you've all wanted to see. Um, it seems like a lot of you like toppers. Um, I have done two or three reviews, I think, on toppers. But honestly, toppers in the, in, that are beautiful silver gray, very difficult, very difficult to find. And if I find one, I will get it and I will review it for you. Um, but there's just some other things that I want to share with you this year to try to help you save time and save money. I'm going to be doing a series, uh, just not reviews, 
but just information that you can have at the ready so that when you're looking at wigs, you're going to kind of know. Forget the color for now. N no, not the color. Forget the style for now. I want to teach you or inform you is probably a better word. I want to inform you. Um... I want to inform you on things that I've learned that I really, truly believe are going to help you not end up with a wig you hate. Things to look for. Things that you might not even think of because you fall so in love with the style or maybe you fall in love with the person who's even reviewing it for you. That happens. Before you plunk down that hard-earned cash, let's talk about some of the less glamorous parts of, of the wig. So that's what my series is going to be about. Hopefully helping you understand the less glamorous parts of the wig and the things that you really need to know to make an informed buying decision. Valentine's Day is coming. Are you looking for a really great wig for Valentine's Day? You want to give yourself at least a good two weeks because some wigs take a while to arrive to your door. Some can come within a week. Uh, and some take a while. But um, I I tend to like the, um, I'm not going to say I love the long wigs, but I would say this this length on someone who is our age, when I say this length on someone who is an older woman, I'm an older woman, and I'm not going to tell you how old I am, <laughs> but I am, I do qualify as an older woman. And um, I just think, um, I agree with Jill, who said last week over on her station, that if you have hair that's framing your face, that you can get away with some length. I even have another wig that's very long, and her name is Orchid in Lilac Case by Aesthetica. I'm looking at her eyes. She's right up there on the shelf. And I love that wig. That is not a short wig. That is not a medium wig. That is a long wig, and she has a lot of hair. But the hair frames the face, so you can get away with that, I think, again, in my opinion, especially if you've taken good care of your skin, um, you know how to put your makeup on, you can get a really youthful look. Not that we're trying to be something we're not, but, you know, you have a special event, you're going out to dinner with your husband, or whatever, you just want to look beautiful anytime. I don't think that long wigs are out of question as long as they're framing the face for us older women. So I will let you know when the live stream is going to be. I'll make probably a one minute or a two minute announcement and you'll see that pop into my feed and then let you know when you can jump on. And if there's one of us, if there's none of us, I'll be here. So again, I just want to wish everybody a wonderful, happy, blessed prosperous new year. I pray that God keeps you all well, and I hope to see you again next time in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like, give it a like, hit that little bell icon, and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.